all the stuff we do is, is connected. How we use our bodies when we play, how we use our bodies when we lift, and how we use our bodies in general. Hey everybody, it's Joseph Conyers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I do all kinds of fun videos, mainly of me playing the bass, but today we're gonna talk about my fitness exploits. <laughs> so I, I have been lifting weights a long time, and uh, I haven't done a vlog on my lifting in quite some time, uh, particularly since I'm back in the gym. I did a, some conversations about me being back in the gym and what it was like, this was a few months ago, but I thought I'd do an update because I got on the stale, oh my gosh. Y'all, it's late. I said, I got on the scale. I got on the scale today. I got on the scale today and I weighed myself and I weighed 232.8 pounds. That, my friends, is a lot of weight. And in kilos, that is this amount, that amount right there, that amount. Um, so I haven't weighed this much in many, many years and uh, it was a little terrifying, but at the same time, I'm uh, really excited because in the pandemic, well, we're still in the middle of it, but when everything was really locked down during the summer, I couldn't lift at all and I lost uh, a lot of muscle mass, uh, it wasn't, Terrible, terrible after five and a half months. But I think I, I've mentioned before that after about two two months, all of that um, weight came back and all that strength came back. Now with that strength came weight. I did eat because more. I, I, I allowed myself to eat more. I allowed myself to kind of break the rules a little bit just so I can get the strength that I had back. After about two months, I was like, well, why don't I keep going? And I kept going and now I am one of the strongest I've ever been. And next year, the year 2021, is a big year for me because I turn <clears throat> years old. And uh, <laughs> uh, I think in, in an effort to hold on to sips out of the fountain of youth, the going back to the gym and rejuvenating my love for lifting and bodybuilding has come back, it's come back actually full force. And I've given myself some time, I'm spending some more time in the gym. I just got a trainer to help me out so I can gain this weight in the right way, but then trim down as we get towards spring and I hit that big milestone birthday. So y'all, I've been working hard. I'm changing my workouts so, and I have to be honest, I always tell everyone I'm the, like the world's laziest bodybuilder. <laughs> and generally that's because I'm so busy, it's hard for me to do everything in the way that I need to, to get the results that I want. And I think the best way to describe this is like music. In music, you can't just run and play a few scales or look at a few notes here and there and really fast and then run off to something else. Music is how I pay my bills. Lifting weights is not. So if there's something that gets left in the dust in, the, in a busy day, it is that lifting weights. And so sometimes I find myself going to the gym, just pushing out a workout as fast as I can and then having to rush out and go where I need to go. I am trying to be very intentional because I know what it takes to be a real bodybuilder. And one of the reasons, I mean, I haven't competed in a few years now, um, but one of the reasons I stopped competing because I knew I didn't have time that much time to like stare at myself in the mirror and practice posing. If you don't know anything about that world, folks get really into it. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much into the bass, like a lot in classical music. Yeah, there are people just as passionate about <laughs> lifting and looking in the mirror and this muscle and this, I, I just don't have the brain energy to put into that. But I do love the pursuit. I'm excited to be able to kind of revisit that and try to focus and use this time to, to focus instead of just running and, and running into the gym and, and throwing weights around, heavy weights around and then running out, but being a way more diligent about how I lift. So hopefully in the coming months, you'll see how I start to slow down my lifts 
start to focus on really squeezing the muscle, really start to focus on the angles that I'm um, lifting the weight, because all these things really do make a difference, particularly if you're in the bodybuilding. Now, if you're on a power lift, it's, it's not, I mean, form is really important, but you aren't looking at every single muscle because it's not about aesthetic, it's just actually about lifting the weight. Bodybuilding is about how many muscles can you see and the muscle head and all like and that's what I that's what I've been involved with. So I'm looking forward to the next few months. I'm excited to see. I mean, I think I might surpass my heaviest weight ever. Uh, I hope <laughs> my clothes still fit. Luckily, I don't have to go out in the public very often <laughs> um, uh, at all, uh, thanks to this pandemic. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the, the although I do have to worry about my concert clothes. That's what I'm most concerned about because I, I don't, I put on my black suit. I'm like, will this thing still fit? So far, so good, but it's getting close. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting in shape and um, telling you a little bit about the journey. So you can feel free to ask questions. Cause I know sometimes there are lots of, um, there are lots of questions about my lifts and I hope to be more descriptive about that going into the new year things that have helped me. I don't know if there's anything specific to base playing, but I think there's some things I've done to develop strength-wise to, uh, to, up to this point, allow me to be um, injury-free. Uh, because as Nurse Rhonda said at the Brevard Music Center, the big muscles have to help the small muscles out. And I think that, that when we have that, in our frame, it does actually allow for better performance. So I look forward to that journey. As I will always say, if you're looking to start your own health, fitness, bodybuilding, whatever it is, journey, I highly recommend you find someone who knows what they're talking about. Uh, if they work with musicians, that's even better because they'll be sensitive to us musicians who can be special <laughs> when it comes to the gym. Cause we, I mean, this, the, our fingers are important. Our arms and things like this are very important to us and we don't want to damage them. Uh, but if you can get any kind of guidance, I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm also a, a big fan of finding ways to understand your body. So Alexander Technique and yoga, I think are all wonderful things for musicians to not only use for their music, but if you're lifting in the gym, I think, Alexander T Technique Yoga will also help you in the gym as well because it will help you with your form. Uh, I've been to a, a yoga retreat the last number of years except for this year because of the pandemic, but intermission sessions and, and retreat and the instructors there helped me because I was having some pain doing some tricep, doing some dips, and they helped me because they know the body, change my form so whenever I do those dips, the pain went away. Actually, it didn't hurt at all when I got their suggestions. So y'all, it's all connected. All the stuff we do is connected. And I think I'll end on this. All, we, all the stuff we do is, is connected. How we use our bodies when we play, how we use our bodies when we lift, and how we use our bodies in general. Because if you have bad form, that's what folks with Alexander Technique will tell you. If you have bad form, if, you, if you're always hunched over, that can start to cause pain in your lower back. All these things are connected, and the more we know how to use them, as they say, the further you'll go. And I think it does really eventually help one's musicianship. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you follow along with me on this fitness journey. And if you wanna follow along, along with my playing videos and any other vlogs that I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that alert button so you can get alerts for every time I upload a video. My audience has grown. I'm up to over 1,600 followers. Yay! In just a few months. So I'm really excited about that. I um, hope to be able to continue to bring you the best content I can. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Uh, I'll see you in the new year.